Hi again. So the plan this time is to attempt to show you how to use the Take Composer and the Take Manager. This is very useful if you do multiple looped takes and you want to take the best sections of each take and compile them into a master take. A lot of people call this comping, so the idea will be to comp the individual takes into one master take and re-import it back into the Samplitude VIP. So I'm planning to record some bass guitar playing along with the Robota drum machine. I need to prepare the VIP for looped recording. So I'll right click here on the range and marker bar. Enable snap active. I can draw in a range for four bars. You will notice if I hover my mouse over any particular area in Samplitude, you get these tooltip type pop-ups which give you information about that particular function and how it pertains to that area of working. So it's worth remembering that because there's a mine of information so it's all very useful, saves you looking in the manual, very helpful. Another thing I'm going to check before I start recording is the record parameters. So if you press R on the keyboard, you get the record parameter box appear magically. So you can select how many bits you're going to record in. I'm going to choose 16 bit mono. Wave, you have different options. You can even record in MP3. Set the um, file path for the recording and the name of the instrument. I'm using software monitoring economy engine and I've got monitor enabled so I can hear myself. Playback while recording is very useful because that means you can hear yourself. You don't, if you don't have that ticked, you won't hear yourself. Create VIP, well that's self-explanatory. Update object during recording. I've seen a few people on the forum mention they can't see what they're recording and this is probably because this hasn't been ticked. So it's worth having that ticked, definitely. And there's also the extended options here where you can choose how you want to record. Show confirmation dialog. That's very useful because it means when you've finished recording, you can choose to save the take or delete it. Each record taken a new file, it's recommended that you do that. But there's a host of um, possibilities and settings, so it's worth getting familiar with these and no doubt you'll create your own set of preferences. Anyway, that's the preliminaries out of the way, so now we can get down to some recording. So that's the bass guitar recorded. You'll notice there's a few error markers along the top here. Well, that's due to the software I'm using for capturing the screen. Anyway, I can remove those by clicking on the Manager tab and opening the markers, and then I can Shift select the markers I want to remove and hit Delete, and they're gone. So it's all nice and clean. So we have four takes of bass guitar recorded and I want to audition the individual parts. So the best way to do this is to click on the Manager tab here and select Take Manager. And you can see parts one to four in a list. So I hit play. Select bass part two. You'll notice the waveform changes to reflect which part I'm auditioning. So that's the simplest way to use 
the take manager just for auditioning the individual parts but if you want to do more complex editing or comping that's where the take composer comes into its own to access the take composer you can either click on this button here or alternatively right click on the part and select takes take composer and there you see a new window opening up you have bass takes one to four and the top one is a is a repeat of bass one and that will be the master track which you'll be doing your comping to so any changes you do in the lower four tracks will be amended to the top track so we're in the take composer window if I press return it will tile the take composer with the main VIP some of you may want to do this to get a better overview of what's going on but I'm going to maximize the take composer window for the sake of this demonstration I'll hit play and solo the first bass part make a selection over the first bar and go down each part one by one listening so I'll use part four if I double click on the timeline there it selects part four press shift C and that part will be amended to the master track so I use the flip range command right so I can audition bar two one by one I'll go for bass part three double click shift C that goes to the top flip range right have a listen to those parts go for part two here shift C again amend it to the top flip range right Okay, so we'll go with part four again. Shift C, and that's amended. Now I can solo that part and listen to it all the way through. Of course, you can draw smaller ranges as well. You're not limited and move those about so there's no limit obviously it's depending on the snap setting you've got as well at the moment it's set to quarter I believe but if you want to do a finer resolution you can press I and change to eighths and get a smaller finer resolution for editing as it stands we've got the comped part here now there's one thing worth mentioning if you just want to hear the bass guitar by itself soloed just press control space and that will solo that part which you've you've selected rather than hearing the bass with the backing anyway we've done the comping so I'm going to close the window for the take composer here we have a message asking if I want to apply the changes to the original project so I say OK and there it is back in the project with the comped parts 
Anyway, that was a basic rundown on using the Take Manager and the Take Composer in Samplitude. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.